WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. 1 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, three hours left to go in the trading day. And we got markets hanging around flat territory, but in the green. Dow Jones up about eight points, trading at 25,857. We got the S&Ps positive by four points, trading at 28.33. And the NASDAQ positive by four points as well, trading at 76.92. Dollar index basically flat, trading at 96.045. No Notes and bonds close to flat as well. Negative three ticks on the 10 year note at 122.27. 30 year bond negative two ticks at 146.04. Gold contract flat is the theme of the day. Gold contract negative 10 cents at 1302.80. And oil positive 45 cents trading at 58.97. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. So you can see the trading range we've been in, even backing this up to last night coming in. The highs of this range right around 25,900. Last night we were up there at about 25,920. The lows of that area 25,820. So pretty much only about a 100 to 80 points in the Dow were bouncing up and down. NASDAQ 100, a little bit of a different story. We got a spike higher up until about 11 a.m. this morning, the high being 73.78. We're now currently trading about 40 NASDAQ 100 points below that level, 73.39. S&P 500 trading at 28.33. We made a high just before 11 a.m. of 28.40, so you're looking at about seven points off that high. Crude oil, trading higher for most of the session, reached a high around 11 a.m. as well, 59.53, currently trading 59.36, quite a run for crude. We haven't seen $60 in a little while for that crude contract, many months, going back to 2018. Gold contract hanging above 1300, 1302.45. And as the Brexit deadline looms, it's March 18th. That deadline, March 29th, we get some votes coming up over in Britain and England this week. Nonetheless, you got the pound trading at 132.23. In terms of what else you have happening across the market, some of the stocks making some headway. This morning, Tesla down about 1.8%. They unveiled their new Model Y. Facebook getting a downgrade as they are seeing some of their executives leave down about 3%. And Boeing with more bad news in terms of bad press having to deal with their 737 Max down about 2.5%. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up right now with the Trader's Edge. Have a great Monday.